food feast going on. We've got from barbecue ribs to matzo ball soup. So we've got a very good show here on Arizona Midday. Welcome. I'm Jan filling in for Destry. And today also, you might find your forever friend on the show today. And the Rat Pack is crooning it their way. And you can win tickets to see them perform. So we have a great show for you today. But first, we're saving you money by doing it all with just one product. And that is milk. Now, we know it can fuel your body, but did you know it can also shine your shoes as well? And my shoe is going to be living proof. Tammy Baker, with registered dietitian with the Dairy Council of Arizona, is here with more. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is a bit, bit of a twist. Yeah, a little. So some good. different things you can do with milk. Of course, you want to drink milk for the calcium, but there's all kinds of things you can do with milk to help... Um, prevent, for instance, stains from staying in. You, if you get a red wine stain, you take your red wine, you submerge it in milk. Comple just milk, yes, no just dilution. Milk, and then you rinse it out, wash it as usual, and it takes the stain out. It's a basic versus an acidic formula, and it helps That's to take the stain out of things that have like a red wine stain or something very acidic in it. Cool, good tip there, okay. Bath water. Sometimes we use bath soaks to help make our skin soft. Mm -hmm. Really, all you need is a cup of milk added to your bath water. The lactic acid in the milk helps to make your skin really soft. Skim milk, whole milk, 2%, lactic, 4%. <laughs> lactic acid's in all of them, so it doesn't matter whatever you have on wow. hand. Yeah, and it does milk the, the milk baths and stuff make your skin so smooth. It makes it really soft, Excellent. really soft. Also, when it comes to burns, the fat in milk, if you take a cloth, put some milk on it and put it on a burn like if you have a curling iron burn or something oh boy it actually takes the inflammation out the fat in the milk helps to take the inflammation out so if you don't happen to have any kind of burn relief on hand you can use milk do it right away right away okay mm -hmm. that's so interesting because that was you know a lot of people think that was a a wives tale or a myth that you would put something like that on a burn and it really works and what is it again in the milk that that takes that inflammation the fat kind of soothes the inflammation. So the fat in the milk soothes the inflammation. Wow, okay. Same thing with if you have something really spicy with peppers in it. This is something we need to know here in Arizona. <laughs> this is a go-to like, trip. We like our hot sauce <laughs> and we like our jalapenos, but if it gets too hot, a glass of milk helps to soothe that burning sensation on the tongue. So now, does that relieve it immediately? And are there any types of chili or hot sauce that it doesn't work on? You know, it works on everything. It relieves it gradually. Okay. It, you do get major relief right away, more so than you would with water. But it takes a couple of sips to, to really help bring down that burning sensation. Interesting. All right. And you've got a uh, plant here. What's up with that? Well, actually, the other thing you can do is if you have those little white dots that are really a fungus that grows on plants sometimes, um, one part milk to nine parts water, you spray it. And if you do that once a week, it'll get rid of that fungus. That and that is there's a, a certain time of year when you're seeing a lot of that as well. It's true. It's true. But something like that, it's an easy remedy without going out and buying a bunch of other products. Who knew? And All then we've right. got your shoe. Yeah, so this is what I look like with my shoe. <laughs> so it is my shoe. I forgot right, the patent leather shoe, so you sacrificed your Don't shoe. Don't ruin these because they're my new favorites. <laughs> but this has milk on it, and actually all you have to do is take a little milk, and it shines up a patent leather shoe. Hey, that's, okay, that's going to come in very handy for this tomboy. Um, awesome. You know what? These are some great tips uh, with milk that we can do other than drinking it, but the benefits of drinking milk. Tell us a little bit about why it's so important especially for kids. Well, of course, there's nine essential nutrients in milk, and that's really important, particularly for growing bones and help to, helping to prevent fractures, but also for adults as well. And calcium, so important in helping those bones grow strong and, and teeth to stay strong, too. So make sure you're drinking your milk, but if you have any of these issues, you can use milk for other things, too. Right, and it works on um, artificial plants as well. <laughs> and you don't dump dirt in the car bringing it over. So. <laughs> there you go. Great okay. information. I love that, especially the hot sauce, everyone. We're going to need mm -hmm. that so much. Uh, thank you so much. And for, for some more great tips, you can always go to dairycouncilofaz.org. Well, the Arizona